Good afternoon. This is DeCarlosDanger.com. My name is Michael DeCarlo. It is approximately 12.25 on Wednesday, the 14th of November, the year of our Lord, 2018. And I'm making this video in special, in special uh, camera lens here on the MacBook Pro. To, because... Uh, this originally started off as a joke. The joke was, you know, what really was, and it's more I think about it, it's not a joke. What if all the uh, immigrants were coming up with 23 and mere test results? <laughs> See, you didn't think of that, did you? Now, it's no laughing matter. What's going on down here? However, I just watched uh, the Secretary of Defense's. Uh, press briefing and if there's any of you and retirees out there or military guys that have gone through briefings before and have any field experience at all this is a pretty large-scale deployment of troops on our home on our home on our home turf and uh, instead of looking at it and being emotional about it you got to ask yourself why, what's the reasoning, what for. Now, the Army doesn't do weekly ops like the Navy does. Or, you know, the big story was, and these guys deploy now for 10 months and more, but uh longest I did was six months. But in order to stay sharp on the boat, you got to drill, you got to make sure everybody knows their places and hit the... Hit their wickets because there's so many moving arms to a, or moving pieces to the machine. And it's always analog. Even though you might think you live in a digital world, but you're the analog machine. Just like uh, no matter how you digitize a submarine, you're always going to have to have input from people which are not binary at all. They may be male and female, but life isn't binary. As in there's more than two choices, especially when it comes to political stuff. Maybe. And what I mean by that is sometimes doing nothing is better than doing something at all. Uh, this whole force protection thing is new. It came around after coal. It was like a precursor to 9-11. Uh, the reason that I remember this stuff is I was deployed in 2000, or at the turn of the century in 2000, uh, 99 to 2000. So you're Y2K. I know that there's people that believe that the century ended in 99, but it is what it is. We're not going to argue something, semantics like that. Uh, in Singapore and there was a concern over and it was right across it's not that very it's not very far from Malaysia Malaysia is the uh, highest populated Muslim country in the world and not against Muslims it is what it is man we believe what we believe uh, They were going to come over and they were going to attack a boat or attack a ship. Then the USS Cole happened about four months later. Then we increased force protection. After we increased force protection, then we had to increase force protection around the country. By methods. that don't pass the sniff test if one looks at them analytically and objectively. But anyway.
if we're if there's a war on drugs, it's a war on the open borders, wars overseas that were undeclared. None of these are declared wars, folks. None of them. Congress and the Senate declare a war. The president has the authority to conduct war. He's the commander-in-chief of the military forces. But I just can't see this as being a war at home or if this is the cost of... This is the, the payback for the being three-fifths free already. Because believe you me, I know it costs more than that. Well, I hope this finds you all well. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Cody. I watched his Bible study this morning. Thank you for the prayers. You got to look through this stuff like an x-ray, guys. And gals. And folks. Because I bet you mathematically more people enter this country illegally through the airports than they do on the southern border. I bet you statistically you can even do it, the mass transit and track it back to where the mass transit grants are at. Since grants are divvied up based upon congressional districts, which are divvied up based upon population counts, which is all comes from the census. All comes from the census. So the more people that are there, the more congressional influence it has. Right in time for the census, folks. Just in time for the folks up in uh, New England and the Midwest to blame it on the immigrants and the brown people coming into the southern border. If you used to look around, you notice the same thing happens in a trickle effect year round where you live within 100 miles of the international border or international airport or a shipping port. Or anything. Most shipping ports have airports, so it all it's all the same. You just get a little bit further out from your hundred mile hundred miles constitution free zone. For those of you that still think that your rights come from government, I'm sorry you believe that. Your rights come from God, the Almighty Creator. They're inalienable. You're born with them. You delegate them to the government. Do never surrender them. The only time you ever surrender them is when you're in service. It's the only time. Service for others to make sure that they're able to survive. You guys are being brainwashed by the television every day. And I only got news and sports once a week on Sundays. To know what's going on in the outside world. Because you had to be concentrated on what last time you knew. And the last time you knew would probably have been worse than it was before. But your job just to make sure that whatever said happened actually happened. And not be what happened. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll be good. We'll see you later. I got to get some more coffee in me. It's cold today here in Sarah's, Arizona. It's a. I don't even think it's going to be 60 or whatever. But the chill is on the pumpkin after Halloween. Or coming up on Thanksgiving down here. Oh, just pray for peace, people. I just I see a Kent State or a Beirut bombing. 
thing coming on. That's what I see when I pray. Be vigilant. Love you all. May you all have good health. Blessings from God. It's that of your family. Peace to all friends. Caution to all enemies. No quarters for tyrants. Later.